Hey everyone, thanks for jumping in. In this video, I'm planning to go through Altair SimSolid Cloud and showing you some of the ins and outs of the tool. Now, for those of you who are new to SimSolid, it is a structural simulation tool. It's ideal for getting quick results for large or complex assemblies. And you can do this because there's no mesh creation, no geometry simplification. The simulation is performed directly on the model. Now, last year, Altair released the cloud version of the tool so users can access their simulation tool and results from any machine at any location. Now, before I jump into SimSolid Cloud, I do want to show you another tool called Altair Drive. Now, Altair Drive is a cloud-based file storage repository that lets you share and manage your files in a really simple way. Now, for every user that has Altair Drive, you get 1,024 gigabytes of storage, and that can be shared and pooled together in a group setting. Now, I can also click on the file and see a quick 3D preview if needed to. I can also see any of the metadata that goes along with that file. Then I can also spin the model around in this environment just to make sure I have the right model before I open it. Then I get a few other capabilities like sharing it with anybody in the project. I can see what activity has happened on this file in the past. Uh, so it's really useful information for a project. Okay, so now let's look at SimSolid. I can open this model in a few ways. I can come to my file, I can click the three dots and I can choose open in SimSolid Cloud. Or if I've downloaded Altair Drive to my desktop, I can open the Windows Explorer and import the file from there. Or a third option is I can come back to the Altair One Marketplace, find the SimSolid Cloud card and launch it directly from there. I'll do that just so I can show you the interface a little bit here. Now this will start off by showing my existing projects, but I do want to add a new project here. So to do that, I'll come up here and I have the option to choose from a CAD file or directly from the Altair One Drive which I can just drill down just like the menu I had in my drive I just showed you, find the file and open it in some solid cloud. Now this will open the model and all the associated assembly and part files. You can see I can spin it around just like I would normally in SimSolid. Before I dive too deep into this model though, I do want to show you some of the settings. Now this gear icon over here on the left is a list of settings that you can change from geometry import settings, to model orientation to your unit system that you want to use then if you are using this in conjunction with solidworks or onshape you can adopt their mouse gestures to use the model the same way that you would in those tools then lastly you can see the material library that's included with simsolid okay so let's go back to the model up here at the top you can see the option to change your viewer display settings now from here, you can choose to zoom to view selection. You can make each part a different color if you want to differentiate them. You can also make the parts translucent. The idea basically is that you can customize this tool to your liking. Now for ease of example, I'm just going to set this material to steel for every part in here. And now I'm ready to start setting up my study. Now just like in the desktop version, I can have SimSolid automatically identify and create my connections within the parameters that I set. Now, once that's done, I can see all the different connections it's created and I can make any modifications if I need to. And now I can look at what kind of study I want to run. Now, since this is just an example, I'm going to do a linear study. First thing is to set up my constraints. So I'll choose a movable support and I'll just anchor it on these two feet right here. And now I can apply my load. I'm going to do a rotational inertia on these fan blades. I'll select the blade itself, and this will allow me to select my axis, how I want to rotate that, and then I can apply acceleration to it as well. And now I'm ready to solve my study. And it'll solve through the hosted environment. It won't pull any computing power from your machine. Again, the cloud version is designed for those who can access this anywhere from any machine. Okay, so now I can look at the results for myself. I have my typical displacement and stress results that I can look at. I can choose how I want to see these. I can choose the different animations, whether I want to see the original shape or not. So all the standard post-processing reporting options that you would find in normal SimSolid desktop are also going to be here in the cloud version. Now also another feature that I really like in the desktop tool is this pick information option. And that just lets me get localized results for any specific point that I want to find. 
Now, there are a few things I just want to clarify before I end the video. The cloud version of SimSolid does have a few limitations when it's compared to the desktop versions. You can see from this table, I have a high mark of 5,000 facets and a 250 part assembly. Then you can also see the desktop versions have quite a bit more functionality when it comes to the types of simulation. I'll add a link to this table in the video as well. So really the cloud version is ideal for when you need a more accessible solution without the hardware requirements and the ability to collaborate with your team members. So if you have any other questions, either the desktop version or this cloud version of SimSolid, don't be afraid to reach out to us at www.trueinsight.io. Thanks.